Americans have resisted diesel power passenger cars for a long time, and thanks to a certain German automaker, that's not likely to change anytime soon. However, we have appreciated the fuel economy and torque benefits of diesel when it comes to pickup trucks. And that's why we were excited when we heard that Chevy would be sticking a 2.8 liter turbo diesel into its excellent new midsize pickup truck, the Colorado. On paper at least, that's a pretty versatile and livable combination. How does it look? I think Chevy did a killer job with the Colorado redesign. The truck manages to look tough and pretty sporty with those blistered wheel arches and an athletic stance on the road. How's the storage? Now, our Colorado has got the long bed option. That means it's 74 inches long and about 44 and a half inches wide from wheel well to wheel well. That means that you can't fit a standard eight x four sheet of drywall in the bed flat but it's more than enough space to help your buddy move or to pick up that really big television that you've always wanted. The other cool thing about it is it's got this awesome easy lift and lower tailgate. Boom. Up front, you get a pair of cup holders for each seat and a really deep under armrest bin. There's also a cool bit of bonus storage under the rear seat cushions that could be nice for holding odds and ends that might otherwise just get tossed on the floor. Is it roomy? Even at my above average height, there's a crazy amount of room behind the steering wheel. I can move the seat way lower and farther back than is comfortable for me. This is the crew cab, and the back seats are about what you'd expect to find in a compact car. Plenty of room for kids, and decent room for normal sized adults. How does the interior feel? So this leather wrapped steering wheel and the large touchscreen definitely make this feel like a step forward from mid-sized truck cabins of old, but you still are looking at a lot of plastic. Even though it's gone upscale, the Colorado cabin does feel durable and easy to use. Even with the touchscreen, the HVAC and radio can be operated with big buttons and traditional controls, something I'd guess many conservative truck buyers will appreciate. Is it well equipped? GM loves to pack USB ports in its vehicles, and you'll find four in this interior, two in front, two in back. My model has MyLink, XM Radio, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto too. How's the infotainment system? As we've talked about in other Why Buy videos, MyLink is cool. A fast processor powers slick graphics and a responsive touchscreen, and it makes the system very user-friendly. Is it a good daily driver? So as far as trucks go, yeah, this is a pretty good daily driver. The Colorado already has a really nice ride characteristic to it, so it's a bit smoother and quieter when it's not the diesel engine than you'd find in a lot of pickup trucks. Uh, it's obviously smaller, especially narrower, so you can more easily get it into your garage, for instance, and maneuvering isn't that tough. Now, that being said, when you put the longer bed on the back, it does still make for a reasonably lengthy vehicle. And if you're talking about tight parking spaces or, you know, kind of fighting for the open spot at the Whole Foods, then you might be in trouble. Is it fun to drive? No, it's not really that fun to drive, honestly. I mean, even with great output figures, the diesel makes 181 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. We're still talking about a truck. So the handling and, and sort of quartering ability definitely aren't entertaining. The other thing is I've driven both the other gas versions of this car. So there's a, a V6 and a, a gasoline-powered four-cylinder. And the, the V6 is just a lot smoother, a little bit more enjoyable uh, to drive, and the four-cylinder gas engine you can have with a manual transmission, and while it's definitely slow, it's its own kind of fun that I'm not having right now. How's the fuel economy? Amazing for the class. The EPA ratings are 29 miles per gallon on the highway and 23 in the city. I've been seeing an easy 27 during my highway driving, and I'm probably going a bit too fast most of the time. At least with an unloaded bed, I think hitting the projections is reasonable. How much is it? Yeah, well, about that. The sticker price on this exact truck is $42,205. I'm gonna give you a minute. Bear in mind, this is a four-wheel drive Z71 Colorado, so there are lots of extras already. Then figure almost four grand for the diesel option, 500 for the Bose audio, 500 for MyLink, etc. It adds up. What are the negatives? 
Hands down, the biggest negative to the Colorado diesel is the price of entry. You're just not gonna get this truck with that engine at the $25,000 level. And while it's a really useful size day to day, if you're gonna work with the truck, you're probably gonna want something bigger in the bed department. Who should buy it? I think there are millions of Americans that like the form factor and the cool factor of driving a pickup truck that don't necessarily need an eight foot bed or a 10,000 pound towing capacity. For those downsizers, getting car-like fuel economy and having a smaller footprint could be a godsend. I also think that you should buy this truck if you're my neighbor. I have a couch to move. All right, folks, if you liked our Chevy Colorado Why Buy video, you should subscribe to our channel because we're gonna have a lot more. Find us on Facebook, find us on Twitter, and generally follow us around the internet because we're doing cool things.